I need to ask you seriously if you think I'm crazy or do you think I even have a prayer? Hey, good morning everybody out there. It is a rainy day here in Carrollton. It wasn't supposed to be. It wasn't raining when I left the house. I'm sorry, my phone's ringing. I think it's the Monimoto. I left the uh, fob in another jacket. Anyway, as you can see, it's a crappy, kind of a ugly day. And for some reason, I don't know why, but the bike is not only wet, but it's filthy. And the bike was clean when I left. It's like it's been raining mud. I don't know what what's going on maybe it just rained enough to loosen the dirt but I didn't think my bike was dirty anyway it's really kind of strange I'm gonna wipe off the F4 a little bit here you just have to deal with it clean off my mirrors a little bit it's not raining right now so there's a little break in the weather so I thought I would uh, ride home during the break in the weather. Hey, if you're new to the channel, welcome to Cruise Man's Motor Vlogs. Uh, this is the channel for anybody passionate about motorcycles. So if that sounds like you, uh, please take a second to click that little subscribe button down below. I'll put my microfiber up here. Anyway, click that little subscribe button and don't forget to click that notification bell. I hope my gloves aren't wet because I left them sitting out here on the just under the windshield. I don't think they are. What the heck is that? So a couple things I want to tell you about. Uh, first of all, I haven't done a motor vlog in the last probably been over a week. And the reason, I'm checking to make sure I have my phone. The reason I haven't, and number one, is I didn't have much to talk about, and I've been busy. I've been working on my uh, the fence in my backyard. You know, we had that fire in the backyard recently, and the fire department, they kicked down like five or six pickets of my back fence, and I had to replace those pickets and do some repair work there. I still have some more to do, actually. So I've been busy with that. I've also been busy uh, trying to get uh, Ricky's mom's 2007 Mercury ready for sale because <clears throat> I'm going to be putting that on the market this week see if we can't sell that which I'm pretty sure we can I've already got several people interested in it and it's insane how much used car prices are right now and these old uh, these old Mercury's and Crown Victoria's man they are in high demand it's unbelievable. The car's only got 60,000 miles on it. It's in pretty good shape. Really good shape, actually. And uh, so I'm kind of uh, been busy doing that. But there are a couple things I want to talk about today on this wet Wednesday here in Dallas, Fort Worth. You will remember a while back, I did a review of the uh, X8 Apex tire inflator which I currently have in my saddlebag. Let me go back and give you a little background. I got some new tires installed a few months ago and I, I think I even did a motor vlog about it where I took the bike into Al Labs and had them put on new tires. I would say that I had to air up the tires because you guys have watched my motor vlogs, a lot of you, and you would see my TPMS light come on, especially if it's cold outside. And I'd have to go back home and add air to those tires. And I would say every week, I would have to add air to my tires. And that's not a, that uncommon. How often, by the way, put in the comments down below, how often do you have to add air to your motorcycle tires? I'd be curious to know. After I did that review video of the X8 Apex, and I basically took all the air out of the tires, aired them back up using that little tire inflator. I have not had to put air in these tires one time. And that's been more than a month ago. 
and we've had cold weather. So here's what I think had happened. I think when they put the new tires on at Al Lambs, the bead on the tire just did not get seated properly and somehow removing all the air out of the tire and reinflating it seated the bead properly and it happened on both tires. So there's a little tip you might try if you have tires on your motorcycle that you're constantly having to add air to on a weekly or bi-weekly basis. Try letting all the air out of the tire, let it go completely flat, and then air it up again. Have you ever heard of anything like that? I've never, nobody, I've never seen that tip anywhere. And I, maybe I'm crazy. Maybe I, maybe that doesn't have anything to do with it at all. But I'm telling you, I have not had to add air to these tires since uh, I did that review on that X8 Apex. Okay. Just wanted to throw that out to you. Now the next thing is, I'm going to go home today and I'm going to try to get this done today or tomorrow. I'm going to be installing a set of saddlebag liners, lid liners. Actually, I think you'd call them a lid organizer uh, that my friends at Big Bike Parts sent to me. If, if, if you don't know it, Big Bike Parts is the parent company for Hopnell. And Hopnell makes all these different uh, motorcycle bags and uh, various storage organizers. Well, they've reached out to me, or I re actually reached out to them. And I have a set of these new saddlebag organizers that I am very excited to test and and uh, put on this uh, 2018 Gold Wing and see how those work. And I'll be testing those out thoroughly on my trip coming up to West Texas in the next couple of weeks, few weeks, whenever it is. Some of you probably already know this, but Cardo just announced yesterday, big announcement, that they have introduced a new uh, Cardo Pack Talk Edge. And I think this is going to replace the Pack Talk Bold. I'm not positive about that, but I think it's going to replace the Pack Talk Bold. And I am in touch with Cardo. Hope to be getting one of those in soon to test and review for you. I also have uh, been in touch with Senna, and I hope to be getting the. Uh, Cena 50C in soon to test it out. I'm very excited about that. So uh, we'll have some, hopefully, some new Bluetooth headsets uh, coming up in the near future to share with you. Also, for those of you that watched my review of the Grand Falls pressure washer, the wall-mounted uh, retractable real pressure washer, I've been using that crazy thing all the time. I, every time the weather warms up and it's nice, I, I actually used it uh, yesterday or day before, and I've been cleaning off my driveway. I've been using it to wash uh, the mercury. I've been, I use it for, man, I'm using it. I can't believe I went this long without a pressure washer. And I'm really happy with the way it works so far. It's been really good. Uh, but just a quick note, those are now available on Amazon. When I did the review, they were not available on Amazon. Uh, they were waiting for more inventory to arrive, but now you can purchase that through Amazon. I'll put a link in the description of this video. I'll also put a link to the description of that tire inflator, which is a rechargeable, portable tire inflator that you can carry on your bike with you. It's a great item. And um, so you can check those out on my Amazon page if you're interested. Now, I need to ask you seriously if you think I'm crazy or do you think I even have a prayer. I have a goal and it may be completely unreasonable but I don't care. I need a big goal for my YouTube channel and my goal is to get a hundred thousand subscribers. Now I know that's a heavy lift for a niche oriented channel like this. Now some of these people 
uh, that have these YouTube channels with a hundred thousand or a million subscribers you know it's easy if you're a 19 year old girl TikTok dancer or whatever cute girl tight t-shirts I guess I could try that I guess I could try putting on a tight t-shirt and doing a couple of dances maybe that would get me some more subscribers what do you think put it in the comments down below is that really what you want to see but anyway I want a hundred thousand subscribers now I want you to understand YouTube does not pay us for subscribers you don't get any money uh, for having subscribers it's purely an ego thing It's purely a, a just an objective a goal an accomplishment you might say and I'm almost at 40,000 subscribers right now and it taken me three or four years to get there really four years I started this channel 12 years ago but I didn't have many subscribers up until about four years ago that's when I really started taking it seriously I need you if you enjoy this content please click the subscribe button it doesn't cost anything to subscribe there's no commitment you can always unsubscribe all it is is a way for YouTube to let you know when I've come out with a new video basically that's what it is when you use that notification bell it just notifies you that there's a new video so it doesn't cost anything to subscribe there's no commitment nobody gets your name or your information or anything like that there's no there's no downside really so I would appreciate it and if you would share these videos on your other social media platforms so that more people see them also one thing you can do if you like this video or if you like my videos take the time to click that little thumbs up that little like button on the video now what that does is that tells YouTube it, the more people that like a video the more the more likely YouTube is to distribute that video to people who are not subscribers so they look at these metrics and they say wow here's a video that's got not just a lot of views but a high percentage of the people that are viewing the video really like the video so we're gonna let more people see that video when their feed comes up on their phone or on their computer so it really does help the channel when you click that like button so I appreciate that thank you you guys have really been great in supporting this channel and uh, I want to keep making more content for you and that <clears throat> that gives me the ability to do that so anyway I'm gonna now I'm just rambling <clears throat> but tell me in the comments down below do you think a hundred thousand subscribers is doable for this channel and I'm always open to suggestions so I want to thank you again for joining me on Cruise Man's Moto Vlog, a rainy, wet, kind of yucky Moto Vlog. Now I'm going to have to go home and wash the motorcycle. But thanks for joining me, and I'll see you on the next Cruise Man's Review or Cruise Man's Moto Vlog. You guys ride safe out there.